Hey everybody, this is Eli again coming at you from OSA in Coventry, here to talk a little bit about freshwater decorating, more specifically to talk about the idea of hardscaping an aquarium. For some of you regular customers, you might remember this peninsula tank here having like plastic plants and decorations like a lot of our other tanks do here. However, kind of recently I changed this to be more of just a hardscape look, which kind of refers to an aquarium having only wood, stone, sand in the tank versus having any sort of live plants or plastic decorations, basically anything that can be set in stone and left in the tank. So a hardscape for your aquarium is kind of more of a natural look. When we get into fish like the um, Scalar angelfish that you see in this tank, Autumn angelfish and some of the wild type of discus, you actually see they have like a black striped pattern to them which is a method for them in the wild to blend in with their surroundings. So to offer them a tank that is basically looks more like their natural environment where there's mostly sand, rock, in wood versus a lot of plants, a lot of color, they are able to more naturally behave and they kind of try to mimic this environment. So with the angelfish with these black stripes, they kind of try to blend in with the wood. Same thing with like say discus or some of the other fish. We also get kind of a really neat behavior out of some of these schooling fish where these serpe tetras here are very like tight to the wood, tight to the rock work and they don't venture out too much into the open water, whereas maybe these denison barbs, these roseline sharks, on this side of the aquarium are more of open water swimmers, and we didn't really get to see this behavior out of these fish when we still had plastic plants in it. In addition to kind of bringing out some of the natural beauty of the aquarium, natural beauty of the fish, this hardscape tank tends to be a lot easier to keep care of than when it still had plastic plants in it. So my usual weekly regime with this tank was to take all the plastic plants out, scrub down the glass, scrub down the rocks, bleach the plants, throw new plants in that have already been bleached and dechlorinated and that kind of consumed a lot of time to uh, take care of this aquarium whereas now with just the hardscape uh, it tends to be as simple as cleaning down the glass maybe brushing off a couple of the rocks with a with a firm brush just to get some of the algae off and any of the rocks that are flat enough to just flip it's easiest to just flip these rocks you get to see the clean side on the bottom side that used to be against maybe the other rocks of the sand and that side that has the algae on it is face down and usually this algae just starves out because it's not getting the light it needs. So by next week, a lot of these rocks might be able to be flipped onto their other side and look just as clean as they do now. As with the wood, generally I'm just brushing this off with, a, with another firm brush before I do my water changes. And then in water changing this tank, it's as simple as kind of hitting the sand bed and trying to remove any of the detritus from in between the rocks. With the addition of a UV sterilizer, I do have to guess that this tank would be a lot clearer and that the rocks would stay a lot cleaner in between maintenance, just because a lot of the algae that is in the water column would probably be, probably be killed um, before it got the chance to uh, settle on these rocks. So by adding a UV sterilizer, we might be able to buy ourselves some more times in between water changes. Changing this scape over to a hardscape turned my maintenance from maybe taking about an hour on this tank to probably half an hour now. So if you guys are into this look at the hardscape, feel free to come check us out at OSA Coventry. Check out our peninsula here with the angelfish and all these schooling fish and take a look what a hardscape looks like for yourself. If you're interested in picking up any of the essentials, whether it be rock or driftwood or anything, uh, check out any of our three locations. Check us out at osachoice.com to pick up any of your scaping needs.